get ready for your daily dose of sales strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with successful track records in growing profitable revenue. Grab your seat and be sure to follow along with the show notes that can be found at salesschool.io. You're listening to Entrepreneur Sales School with your trainers, Chris Burvey and Calvin Simpson. Welcome to Entrepreneur Sales School. I'm Chris Spurvey. And I'm Calvin Simpson. Grateful for you listening in today. Today we're going to talk about a topic. Yesterday was uh, all about personal branding and when to start. Today we want to talk about how to choose your first blog topic. What's your thoughts on this, Calvin? Yeah, blogging is a, a great way to build your expertise online, to get your message out there, and really to shine a spotlight on what you're doing, what you care about. It's also a really great way to get engagement, to build an email list, to create conversation with people. So can't say enough about blogging. When it comes around to first getting into blogging, and we were talking a little bit before about, hey, you know what, when do I start my personal brand? And we're saying today or yesterday, I um, highly encourage you to start blogging, but just picking something that comes easy to you to write. So when I say Blogging, if you haven't started yet, I'm sure there's a topic that you've thought of in your mind already. Now, we always encourage people to use this from a situational standpoint. So let's say that um, you're uh, dealing with some sort of widget in your day. Um, You're an entrepreneur who makes widgets. Well, a great place to start would potentially be a client story, something they've gone through. Or even a great place to start would be, hey, why do you care so much about manufacturing these? How have they changed your life? Um, so pick a topic that really comes easy to you. Um, I know I'm talking about, hey, talk about your product a bit, but make sure it's not too focused around buy, buy, buy. Always looking at, always look at telling a story, telling a narrative. And one of the other pieces I love to throw in there is a framework that you can start with. So start with your problem in the first paragraph paint your solution in the next paragraph and then paint the benefit in the next paragraph and that really gives you a nice framework to start with so let's say it's a problem you're going throughout your day you're walking down or you're in a business meeting and someone says something that you think hey you know what this is a problem let's say maybe you blow over on time so your problem is blowing over on time maybe your solution is ending five minutes or putting a meeting timer on it and the benefit is you all get to go to your next meeting or you get to stop at the bathroom before your next meeting and you're not all running around super simple framework to use problem solution benefit right on what comes easy to you chris what are your thoughts oh yeah no that's great i love that uh, framework i've never heard you mention that one before but uh from my perspective you're, you're you're dead on pick a subject that's easy near and dear to your heart uh for me i'll never forget my first blog post it was in 2014 i'm going to say roughly in september 2014 um i was in the process of uh, going through write, uh, writing my book with my coach who i had hired and uh we were just talking about sort of areas of my life that you know kind of wove together to be my story and my narrative and uh, I was contemplating for me the definition of success and what would be success for me and I was after reading the book um, or after listening to a gentleman by the name of Earl Nightingale uh, talk about success and his definition being the progressive realization of a worthy ideal and so my first ever blog post was uh, it was me riffing, so to speak, on this topic of, of success and how I related really well to that particular definition. And so I banged out three or 400 words and hit publish, and I never had a copy edited. I just hit publish, so it was very uh, natural. And I think, you know, uh, off topic perhaps, but the key to just is just to go and, and put it live right mm -hmm. and your your personal brand evolves with you your message evolves with you and if you wait to have your message crystal clear uh, and uh, very well positioned you'll you'll likely never get out of the gate so pick a topic near and dear to your heart that you're currently contemplating and uh, and riff on it and and press uh, press publish you know and uh, I, I, that's that's my personal recommendation anyway and then the next one may be a little bit more fine-tuned and then the next one more fine-tuned again uh, and then you'll start to in, um, develop confidence and uh, uh, yeah so that's my thoughts on the subject blog 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 just start blogging hey <laughs> I love it <laughs> uh, wanted to go talk a bit about our membership community as we always do the make sales a habit university 
enter online chris what do you what's your favorite part of the university today god there's a there's a whole lot of uh right now we're putting together the uh, the actual community and uh we got a lot of uh sort of experts who are lining up saying they would they'd love to contribute uh content uh we've got a lady by the name of mary jane cops she is known as the phone lady and uh she is all about how to uh, leverage the phone which is interesting you know uh, uh a lot of a lot of people out there saying phone is dead and, and cold calling is dead and all those types of theories. Uh, but Mary Jane uh, is still leveraging the phone to grow a pipeline and close sales. And she's teach, she teaches entrepreneurs how to actually leverage the phone in, uh, in, in closing sales. So uh, that's a, an exciting webinar that will be in the membership community, the Make Sales a Habit University. So I suggest you to chrisspurvey.com slash subscribe. Register as many times as you want. Uh, to uh, become an active part of the community. And we're going to be giving one away a week uh, on Wednesday in our interview session. Uh, and as well, I think, Calvin, in the past when you mentioned, uh, uh, I should mention, I should say, uh, Mary Jane Copps was one of the first people uh, on my uh, podcast. So you can hear more about her by just going through the archives at chrisburvey.com. Have yourself a great day. See you tomorrow. This session of Entrepreneur Sales School is concluded. Be sure to subscribe for more daily sales strategies and tactics to help you achieve your revenue goals. And don't forget to rate and review so we continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in Entrepreneur Sales School tomorrow.